hello hello this is Elena Marie and I am back with another video for you guys if this is your first time on my channel welcome if this is not your first time welcome back and I'm glad we're able to kick it with each other once again so today I have a nicely cute video for you guys and um, this video here I got the idea from watching a couple of YouTube channels I think maybe a couple of months ago and they were rating their old styles just rating all the outfits that they used to wear back in the day. And I think I actually watched one where she rated her actual makeup looks back in the day. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and do a mm -hmm. video where I will rate my past jewelry designs. <laughs> so this is day, well this is not day two, but this is video two of the holiday season. And I believe on here... You call them with crafters and jewelers do more videos during December. I know vloggers call it vlogmas, but I think crafters call it craftmas. <laughs> so I will be doing craft craftmas um, this December. Um, I'm not going to be posting every day. Obviously, you can tell from that, but I will be posting more videos this month. Um, and this is video two of craftmas, and it's going to be rating my pasture designs. Oh. By the way, I'll let you know, we're going to have a special guest for the whole month of December. And that special guest is Melanie, the Christmas tree. <laughs> let me see if I can show y'all a little bit of her right there. Yeah, there she goes. Melanie, the Christmas tree will be our special guest for craft months. Yes. Now, she's not all dolled up like she normally is. But as the oncoming um, videos keep rolling here, you're going to see her all nice and dolled up with all her little accessories that I'm going to put on there. Okay. So right now, she is in her beautiful raw form. <laughs> but again, you will see her nice and dressed up. So Melanie, say hello to the Glam Gems. The Glam Jewels, Glam Jewels, Glam Jewels, say hello to Melanie. All right. So, oh, and another thing is, I am rocking one of my older um, designs. I think this is probably, I want to say maybe a year or so old. So, it's not that old compared to the ones you're going to be seeing in the video. And this is also my design as well. This one here is... I made this this year, so it's not really that old. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm rocking. This here is kind of funky, but it's still a cute design. It still makes a statement, and I still look fabulous in it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so just the backstory of my jewelry making journey. And these photos here is pretty much going to kick off the journey as well. But my story is pretty simple. I was going to stores and just didn't like what I saw to it wasn't my vision of what I wanted to piece up with uh, outfits and me being into YouTube that I was even 10 years ago I was obsessed with watching YouTube especially when it came to DIY projects and of course me being in me liking a particular type of jewelry in the store but just didn't have what I was looking for as far as the colors went on YouTube researched it and found a video that showed me how to make it. It was very simple and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab the materials and I'm gonna make it my own. And there you go. That's how the jewelry making journey starts. I pretty much think that goes for uh, pretty much everybody's <laughs> story is the same, but that's pretty much how I started. I didn't like what I saw in the store, so I said, uh, I wanna figure out how to make my own. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead into the first piece and that first piece kind of tie into how the journey started. So the first jewelry piece was some earrings. So you can see it right here. I'm gonna have a screenshot somewhere here so you can follow along with me. This here was the start of me making my own jewelry. So these here are just some simple hoop earrings here. That was my first pair of earrings that I made. And I actually was inspired by some earrings that I saw in the jewelry supply store. Not jewelry supply, beauty supply store. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were big hoop earrings, but it was all rhinestones to the top. And they were actually the rhinestone spacer beads. Just that, that's all it was. And it was either gold or even silver. And I absolutely loved them, but I was tr kind of trying to find something where it had color in it. Um, 
and I started to research um, online to see what it was and I saw some when it was all spacer beads but they had like different variation colors of the rhinestone spacer beads and I'm like where can I find those at um and like it's just the only can I only buy them what can I do can I make them or whatever so I actually started in the beauty supply store it didn't have the big red ball or anything like that in there it was just all rhinestone beads uh um rhinestone spacer beads so I was a little upset about that because my main goal was to find something to match an outfit um, which was my high school school colors which was crimson and gold so um, only thing I can find is all gold all silver so I was like is this something I can make because I'm one of those people like I, it looks like it's something I can make because it looks simple but I don't know and I always went to YouTube to see if somebody had a video of it. And sure enough, there's somebody who did. I cannot remember the actual channel. Um, again, it's been like 10 years. Because when did I make these? In 2012. I made this in 2012. So it's been 10 years. <laughs> it's been 10 years. Um, so um, her video was kind of what I was looking for. But it gave me the idea of, oh, I can do this myself for sure. So I had to go to... I think the first place I went to to find the materials, um, first thing was going back to the beauty supply and getting the hoops because that's where I got my hoops for them anyway. I was a hoop girl then. That's one reason why my first pair of earrings had something to do with big hoop earrings because that's all I like to wear back then um, was big hoop earrings or big statement piece earrings. I was all about big, big. I'm kind of like that still now, but then it was really like, hoop earrings I always got them in silver because back then I was a silver girl now I kind of like gold more than silver but um yeah but I went back to the beauty supply I bought me a whole bunch of um hoop earrings I bought them in gold and I bought them in silver and I was like all right now I have to find the beads and the first place I went to go look for the beads was mm, I think it was Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby had the big red bead but it didn't have the spacer beads and I don't think they call space beads. I forget what they're called, I think. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, um, so I went down to a strip that we have here where I'm from. Where you can get just about anything there. You can get, oh geez. <laughs> from furniture to all kinds of clothing to you know anything you can think of. Accessories, they had accessory places to the fifth down here and B stores. And I remember, oh, there's bee stores down here because every time you drive there, you will see something that says bee stores, bees, bees, bees. So I went into one of the bee stores and they had the spacer beads. So, and there you have it. I had um, the um, the big bead was the, the, the red one and then I had the spacer beads and then I had my hoops. And I didn't know how I was going to do it at first. I just know I wanted a different design. Um, when I was at Hobby Lobby, I bought a whole bunch of beads because I was just looking. I'm like, oh, these are pretty, pretty, pretty. And I just grabbed a whole bunch of them. And um, the initial design wasn't to put the bead, the, the red bead in it. My initial design was trying to find the spacer beads in different colors. But I can only find gold and I can only find silver. And that was, and then it was another one that was like gunmetal type of, the, the gum yellow type of finish and that was all I could find so um me looking at the beads that I had I was like well why don't I put like a big bead in the middle and then do the rhinestones and that's how they came along that's it now <laughs> I did that long story just for me to rate it child please but anyway <laughs> I will rate this 5 out of 10 and the reason why I would say 5 out of 10 it's because I can't see myself wearing it now. Um, maybe if I tweaked it a little bit and, and, and changed some stuff, I can probably rock that. Um, I maybe will fill it all the way up to the top with, with, with space of beads and maybe still have that in the middle. I'm not sure yet. But, I mean, it was my first pair of earrings. I just threw something together and it looked very nice for what it did. But I would say a 5 out of 10. So, let's go on to the next design. Ah. So this one here, I made that the same day. I made that one the same day, literally. And this one here, I will rate this a 2 out of 10. Honey, I don't know what I was thinking about. <laughs> Child, listen, I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. 
I, I, I'm thinking because when I make something that's just kind of not my style or well not I wouldn't say not my style because probably it most likely was somewhat to my style a little bit but when I made stuff like this it was either because the materials I had it just went with a particular outfit like the color and everything just matched the outfit I wanted to match and I just made it not necessarily because this was, was a design that I really liked but it, it did it did its purpose of matching the outfit so and I don't remember what the outfit was but I definitely definitely had to make this to match an outfit but yeah I give it a 2 out of 10 I just don't like it I don't I don't like it at all <laughs> Next one. <laughs> oh, I actually like this one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. I actually remember this one. I made this for an outfit. Um, you might going to hear me say that a lot because I really did make a lot of stuff for me and my outfits. Um, but I made this for an outfit that I was going to wear for Valentine's Day. And, um... Oh, by the way, those the first two was made in 2012. So this one here, I made this in 2015. So this one was three years later. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, this one here, I still like it. I think it's cute. I got these beads from Joann's. I definitely got it from Joann's because I think they still even sell these beads now to this day. Um, but yeah, I definitely got these from, jo well, maybe not Joann's, maybe Michael's. It was Michael's or Joann's for sure. Um, it definitely wasn't Hobby Lobby. Um, the only thing I would change, I would probably change the pattern of how I have the beads a little bit. And I would definitely take out those clear beads and put something else with it. Put something else there. Um, yeah. But I still like it. I think it's very cute. I think it's very cute. I would still wear that today. I will still wear it today. I kind of, you know, do a different style with it. With those beads. But I will still wear that today. So, yeah. I would give this a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Sure. Okay, so the next woohoo. So the next one. Yeah. 10 out of 10, honey. 10 out of 10. This was my first hand painted earring, a set of earrings that I made. 10 out of 10. I wore the heck out of those, child. I wore the heck out of those earrings, baby. Let me tell you. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I like the whole symmetrical look I got going on there. I have some slip-ups there at the bottom with the purple and the green. I can tell a little bit, but that's all right. I mean, like I said, um, practice make perfect. But not even that when it comes to art. I don't know, have to be perfect, right? When it comes to designing and creating things, nothing has to be perfect. So, it came out very nice for the first time. I was very happy about it. And that's why I wore the crap out of it. I like the nice little red bead that I have there at the top of it. To really just bring in that red that's in the um, earrings. I got red, purple, yellow, green, and pink. Because you know your girl loves pink. <laughs> But yeah, 10 out of 10 out of this. I would absolutely wear this. I would wear it like crazy again. I might. I might try to remake this. But anywho, yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, so the next one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so these three here. The first one, the one that's the wooden piece with the animal print. Um, that um earrings. I actually got the wooden pieces from Fire Mountain Gems. I got that for Fire Mountain Gems. Um, I got it in that color and I got it in a, in a, a deeper uh, dark wood. I still have them to this day. The earrings, I have them somewhere. It's probably stashed in. I have like, uh, I have a couple of bins with old jewelry from jewelry that I bought and stuff that I designed. So I pretty much think it's in there. But yeah, I wore those like crazy too. Those was 10 out of 10. I absolutely love them. I got compliments from them. I actually made another pair and sold them. One of my friends. Um, so yeah, that is definitely 10 out of 10. Absolutely love those. The other two came from a jury, um, a jury making kit from, I believe it was from Michaels. They were okay. They're fine. They're, they're pretty much just, um, how I was supposed to make them. They had the instructions and all the materials and everything. And I made it exactly how the instructions tell me to make it. So I would give it a 4 out of 10. Just because it wasn't actually my design. It was actually the um, kit's design. Um, but I did wear the longer ones a couple of times. But yeah. 
nothing special about these but you know I did make them and um I made them from the jewelry kit I just didn't put my own flair to it yet but this was me trying to get um familiar with making jewelry so but the third earrings which is the wooden ones with the which uh the the the, the um animal print um bead I made those after I made the ones um to the left or to the right or to the left of well you know where it's at <laughs> I made those I made that one afterwards so you can tell that from <laughs> you can definitely tell that I started to put my own flair in it and that was after I made those two earrings so yeah I give those a four out of ten four out of ten oh this next one here ten out of ten <laughs> this was my first brace first bracelet lord necklace this is the first necklace I ever made and it's still cute I will wear this now I have one little problem and you can tell it a little bit that I'm a chain, a chain link short on one side. But other than that, it came out so beautiful. I did not expect for it to look as pretty as it did. But I absolutely love it. I will wear that. I will wear that today. This is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So beautiful. Oh, by the way, I got all these from Hobby Lobby. I believe. I think Hobby Lobby. Okay, so this one here, I have three bracelets here. Well, yeah, three bracelets. Okay, so the top one, that one is um a bracelet watch. That's a watch bracelet. That's a bracelet watch. I don't know how you say it, but anyway, um, this was a bracelet watch, and basically you just use um, no, actually, there used to be a brand at Joann's. I got this from Joann's that had um, a, a kit. It was only two um, things in the kit. No, actually, I lied. It was, I don't know if any of y'all went to shop at Joann's some years ago where they had it. It actually had it on an end cap display. And it used to have um, two rhinestone um, bracelets stretched out with the clips at the end with like a, uh, uh, I can't think of what it's called, a lobster, a lobster clasp at the end. And use two strands of already decorated beads on there. It's just ready to go for you to make something with it. And then they will have a watch face by itself. And you can buy those two together and you put them together and you make a watch bracelet. Does anybody did anybody remember that from from um Joann's? But anyway, it used to be on the end cap and I bought just about every single one of them. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, this is cute. They were so big and blingy and girly. And then you had the two pieces. And all you had to do is put those two together. And you got yourself a nice little bracelet with a nice wash face. Come on now. So anyway, that's what the top one was. Um, I put, I bought that one and I bought like, it was like silver pearls to go with it. And then I just put two, um, I bought like a big old thing of silver bracelets from big old thing from silver uh, silver bracelets from uh, Beauty Supply and put them two together. There you go. <laughs> that is ten out of ten because I love it and I will still rock this today. I still will rock this. I think I still have that one. If I'm not mistaken, I think I still have that one. But yeah, that's 10 out of 10, honey. That's still fire. And you see people now, they actually have like a whole bracelet set right along with the watch now. So this has been, that kind of design been around for quite some time. It's just elevated a little bit now. But yeah, 10 out of 10 for the top video, a uh, top photo. And then the bottom two, I think I will rate both of them. I would say a 5 out of 10. This is something I just wouldn't wear now. I wouldn't wear. I probably, again, it could have went with an outfit that I decided to, to match it with. But, yeah, I wouldn't wear those two now. So, I would give it a 5 out of 10. The reason why I give them 5 because it's nicely put. It's very nice braces. It's just not something that I would, would wear now. I, for the blue ones, I would pretty much change um, those little white pearls. Baby, I don't know what I was thinking about that. 
I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, those two, four. Did I say five out of ten? No, I'm going to change it. Four out of ten. Four out of ten. Okay, so this next photo here, these came from an actual jewelry making kit. I just switched up maybe one thing and that was it. Was it one thing? But it was on the bracelet that I switched it up in. But I pretty much just followed the instructions. So again, this is going to be like a 4 out of 10. Nothing spectacular about it. But I bragged about it because I made it. And I didn't like it because the, the necklaces was too short. I wanted them to be longer. But, you know, I had to make it with the material that they gave me. And they didn't give me enough to make them longer. So, yeah, these are 4 out of 10. Not as much to say about it. Just another jewelry kit. Um... The, the jewelry making kits now are way better than the ones they had then, I would say. But yeah, these are 4 out of 10. Okay, so the next, <laughs> the next design, my first ring I've ever made. First ring. And the back was a little funky, but the top part came out so pretty. This is a 10 out of 10, honey. I absolutely love this ring. And this has kind of encouraged me to go back to wire wrapping. I haven't wire wrapped in years, but this was so pretty. By the way, all these photos, all these designs were back in 2015. I was on a roll that year, okay? <laughs> but anyway, look at that one. That was so... That's so pretty. That is so pretty. The rose gold, which is like brass, really. And then I think the dime, the, the, the rhinestone or, or crystal is... Was it pink? I think it was pink. But yeah, 10 out of 10. I absolutely love this. Oh, I might get back into wire wrapping, y'all. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so the next photo, I have a lot of designs on here, as you can tell. But this one here, I'm going to start off with the jewelry set because I'm going to get back to the other ones in a minute. But yeah, the jewelry set, I would give that one a 5 out of 10. And I give it 5 out of 10 because I actually sold those earrings. This is a jewelry making kit. I think I changed a few things like the smaller beads in the back because I had this. I had that from another um, mix that I got, a beat mix that I got from um, Michaels. But that's the only thing that I changed with that. This is when I really started to like, okay, I can make some stuff that's from these jewelry kits, but I'm going to add my own twang to it. So yeah, that was that whole jewelry set and those earrings I actually sold. So those are five. That's a five out of ten for me. Um, the watch bracelets, as you can see over there, um, three of those was from that brand I told you about that Joanne's had displayed on the end cap, and the other one was an actual watch that I got. It was a Betty Boo watch. I just cut off the leather bands and I made my own. That was my first time making one from scratch. Like getting the clasp and everything and making it fall out that way. The other ones, um, they were already made that way. I just chose um, I just chose the bands that I think would fit best for that. No, actually one of them I did take a part and I added other stuff to it. And it's the elephant one, but you can't see that part of where I added like some um white bees at the back of it but yeah that's when i started to really be like oh let me just do my own twang with it and, and really like finesse it to my own liking and and made it my own so to speak so yeah i still have every single one of those two i sure do now i don't wear them no more but i do definitely still have them and of course the wash don't work no more but it's still fly all i gotta do is just replace the battery listen girl those are 10 out of 10s because I will still rock them today. I still rock them today. Absolutely. 10 out of 10. Moving on. Okay. So this one here is my second um, ring that I made. That one there, I would give it an 8 out of 10. And the only reason why I'm giving it 8 out of 10 is because I made it too small. It can only fit my pinky. <laughs> so I couldn't really wear it the way I wanted to because it didn't look right. But yeah, that's my second um second design ring design and i absolutely love it it actually came out way better the front part i just made it too small but yeah eight out of ten moving on i am so thirsty <laughs> i crack myself up sometimes but anyways moving on for real <laughs>
Okay, so the next design I have, I have posted this in my community tab, but this was my first um, jewelry set that I made on my own without jewelry making kit supplies. I just went in to, I believe I got the, I don't remember where I got the charms in from. I want to say Michael's because I remember Michael's had like a whole um, package where you get like different variations of butterflies. So I want to say I got this from Michael's. And um, I just made my own. I saw a video on YouTube, of course, um, about making your own chain bracelets. I mean, chain necklaces and bracelets. And this is what I came up with. And I absolutely love it. This is 10 out of 10 because I will still rock this today. I love butterflies, too. So, yeah. And, oh, I, uh, uh, um, the... The butterfly charm on the necklace has actually had like pink rhinestones at the top part of the wing. So that was even cuter. So yeah, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Cute little design. I would still rock this. Heck, I would, I would sell this. I would sell it. Yes, ma'am, I will. <laughs> Moving on to the next design. Oh, this next design. One of my ultimate favorite designs I ever, ever did. Very simple, but it, it just looks so beautiful. And it's that right here. I absolutely love it. I still have the blue bracelet. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I still have the bracelet. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I got a lot, a lot, a lot of responses when I posted. When I posted this, I got a lot of people that were asking me, if I can bake it and this and this and that and that. Now I only got enough material to make me one, but when I went to go back to try to make some more, they didn't have any. But they resurfaced at Michaels recently. I know now. I don't know when they brought it back, um, but I did see them, so I might go back and try to recreate this bracelet and try to do something different with it because it was my favorite, and I'm talking about the blue one. The blue flower one was one of my favorite bracelets that I ever made. I wore it like crazy. Sorry. Um, uh, my video cut off on me. The disrespect. But anyway. Now, what I was talking about with this blue bracelet here. I tried to wear colors to where I can just wear the bracelet. Black, blue, uh, red, white. I, I don't care. I just wanted to wear it all day, every day. Go to the grocery store, I'm putting it on. Maybe I was obsessed with that bracelet. Do you understand me? Obsessed. 10 out of 10. And also the other bracelet. That was a beautiful bracelet. I didn't wear it as much, but it was beautiful as well. That is a 10 out of 10. I got a lot of talk for making those bracelets. People was always asking me about those bracelets. I got a lot. On Facebook, I got a lot, a lot, a lot. Of kudos for those two races so baby yes 10 out of 10 for both of them and i might try to remake them again i promise you if i can find those other ones too oh yeah i'll probably remake those those are absolutely beautiful love them love them love them okay Ooh. so uh the next design here 10 out of 10 too 10 out of 10 these are some hand painted um earrings that i made for me and my sister for our family reunion back in 2015 child yes yes and the ones at the bottom the blue and the black ones the dark blue and black i use glue to get that nice effect on the earrings yeah Ooh. that would be nice to kind of recreate that listen i have an idea can you tell me if it makes sense i really am thinking about um recreating some of these designs that I have and kind of tweak it a little bit to my liking now but yeah this one was actually nice I absolutely love it I wore the darker blue one and my sister wore the the lighter one the the kind of like turquoise one but yeah we um we wore this for our family reunion that summer 10 out of 10 because I will make them again for sure 10 out of 10 okay so the last two designs I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually put both of them on the side here um, because I actually made them the same day. And they're not as old as the other ones, but these were the two bracelets that I made um, 
when I got back out of my um, many, many years hiatus of making jewelry again. And it was this one here. Um, it was the emerald um, bracelet set. It really was the same bracelet. I just made it twice. <laughs> And then the pink one there because you know your girl loves pink. <laughs> Me and my pink stuff, I got a problem. So yeah, this one here, um, those were my first braces I made getting right back into making jewelry. And that was in 2020 and it's been going up from there. And I figured I would, you know, end my last designs with the design that got me going again to bring me to where I am now, to where I'm able to have my own website, my own business, and be able to create this YouTube channel and, um, you know, share you guys my passion. So yeah, these two here, I will rate them, um, a nine out of 10 only because the braces was a tad bit smaller than what I wanted to be, but they still was a nice piece and they still look nice as we speak to this day. So yeah, I would give I would give them a nine out of ten. Okay, you guys, that's all I have for you today. It was nice going back down memory lane a little bit and seeing some of my designs, and I may try to recreate some of them for y'all and for myself. <laughs> some of them, child, if I remember where it was. But anywho, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> I thank you. Thank you guys for your support. I thank you for watching my video. And I also want to thank you guys who chimed in on Thursday on my live. It was good to have a live talk with some of you guys. It was really, really nice. Um, yeah, so let's keep this going, you guys. Continue to support your girl. Don't forget to support me. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when I post another video. Also, check out my other things I do on YouTube. Sometimes I post shorts. Sometimes I post in the community tab. And the community tab will kind of give you a hint of what's going to be coming in the coming week or day or whatever it is. So keep a lookout on there. Also, check me out on my other social media platforms. The links is going to be in the description box below. Particularly, check out my Instagram. I'm going to have it here for you guys. So you can check it out there and support your girl over there too. We want to get our family uh, used up over there as well. And um, check out my website if you're interested in anything that I have there or you're interested in something that you would like for me to custom create for you. You can go to my website and find all the options available for that to happen. Thank you again for supporting me. And until next time, you'll see the another Craftmas 2022 video soon with our special guest, Melanie, the Christmas tree. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace. Okay, I'm done being goofy now.